Today, September 8th, is the birthday of the Blessed Virgin. So we celebrate her Immaculate Conception on December 8th. Nine months later, we celebrate her birthday on September 8th. This is an ancient feast that goes back to the antiquity of the church. It reminds us that the Blessed Mother is God's masterpiece. And when you think of Da Vinci's Last Supper or Michelangelo's Pietà, you see in those artistic representations, the, the fullness of the artist's genius, um, his intention, his creativity, um, the brilliance of mind and thought that, that goes into creating something absolutely beautiful and classic, this masterpiece. Mary is God's masterpiece because in her, we see his intention and desire for us. Mary draws us back to that original innocence that Adam and Eve had before the original sin. And she becomes that first disciple who believes in the gospel at the moment of the Annunciation. And it's her fiat to that mysterious call to be the mother of God, um, that the Lord Jesus is conceived within her, that the invisible, universal, all-powerful, mysterious God humbles himself to become one of his own creatures. And Mary becomes the, the vessel, the, the conduit, the recipient through which God enters into his own creation. She becomes a new garden of Eden. And so we honor her both as disciple, but then the divine maternity. She becomes the mother of God um, through that fiat, through that discipleship, through that yes. We know as Catholics that every culture and every place and land claims the Blessed Mother as their mother. So there's something beautiful in that inculturation of Mary, that we all claim her as our own. So we think of Our Lady of Lourdes, we think of Our Lady of Guadalupe, Our Lady of Chestahova, Our Lady of Fatima. We think of um, Asian representations of the Blessed Mother, African representations, um, Latin American representations. So every country and culture claims her as their own. Two of my favorite titles of Mary are Our Lady of Alta Gracia. I say that because our Lady of Alta Gracia is the national patroness of the Dominican Republic, where I was blessed to do mission work. And it's a beautiful little image, the original, that miraculously appeared on the shore, goes the narrative, and is honored in the city of Igwe, which is in the eastern part of the Dominican Republic. It's like essentially a Christmas scene with Mary adoring the Christ child, St. Joseph, standing next to her. My other favorite image, just because I've had such remarkable experiences there, is Our Lady of Lourdes. So when you go to Lourdes, it's clear that not only did something supernatural happen here in the past, but it's clear to me that there's something supernatural happening here now. You see tens of thousands of people with maladies, illnesses, and severe disabilities coming there to take the baths, praying for a miracle. Many of them go away not having experienced physical healing, but certainly are given uh, the strength and the perseverance to to embrace the cross in their life and to go on. So if somebody asked me, what are your two favorite titles of the Blessed Mother? I'd say Our Lady of Alta Gracia and Our Lady of Lourdes. But it begs the question, what's your favorite title of the Mother of God? What aspect of, of Mary's life, maternity, and um, our devotion to her appeals to your heart the most? On this day, as we honor her birthday, we thank the Lord for sending us this masterpiece of creation, this immaculate conception, this mother of Christ through whom God is given to the world and our salvation is assured through her divine son.